Unfortunately, the federal shutdown also shut down uh, and shut out the public from this important meeting. Well, the meeting was centered on a proposed mining exploration project in Boise County, but the Forest Service was forced to cancel it. Welcome to the News at 6. The Idaho Kumo Mining Corporation hopes to excavate a mineral in the Boise River headwaters near Idaho City. This is the mining company's third attempt to make that happen. Federal judges blocked the last two tries for the exploration project and asked the Forest Service to do another environmental assessment. Well, the only public meeting scheduled by the Forest Service to go over the latest assessment, well, that's the one that just got canceled. And our Tammy Tremblay is here with what happens next. Tammy? The exploration project could now be approved without the Forest Service hearing in person from the public about the exploration project. It's a concern for many and one that's out of everyone's control, except of course for our federal government. When I can't be in the foothills and I'm down here. Hillary Ray Hill appreciates the Boise River. Water is a valuable resource and we need to protect it as much as we can. She's concerned it's at stake because of a project planned here in Boise County by Idaho Kumo Mining Corporation, similar to this open pit near Chalice. It's, it's, it's a complicated project. John Robeson is the public lands director for the Idaho Conservation League. He says Kumo was proposing a four year exploration plan in the headwaters of the Boise River to look for a mineral used to help harden steel. The ultimate goal, if there's enough deposits up there, is to build one of the largest open pit accessible molybdenum mines in the world. He has several worries, mostly surrounding water quality and plants. Also, Kumo's plan includes creating roads to access the mine, which could cause problems because of the recent Pioneer fire. And so there's a heightened risk of landslides. And so um, we're concerned about uh, the mining company building roads across landslide prone areas. Robison was looking forward to having public input on the project, but the only four service public meeting for this assessment has been canceled because of the partial government shutdown. Hello, you have reached the Boise National Forest Supervisor's Office. We are on furlough due to the lapse in federal government funding. The deadline to comment on the project in Boise County is January 22nd, meaning the plan could move forward without a chance for folks to talk with the Forest Service. Unfortunately, the federal shutdown also shut down uh, and shut out the public from this important meeting. He hopes when things are up and running again, the public meeting will be rescheduled and the comment deadline extended. So does Ray Hill. The government shutdown is awful, I feel. I mean, it's not only taking away people's livelihoods, it's affecting things, issues like this. And I would expect that they would postpone the deadline for it and allow a public comment. While the federal shutdown is temporary, Mining pollution can be permanent, and so we really think it's, it's critically important that the public has a, have an opportunity to, to talk with the Forest Service about this, learn more about uh, the process, and uh, have a chance to weigh in and, and make their voices heard. I did talk with a spokesperson from the mining company, Noel Lori, on the phone this afternoon, and she says they have planned two public meetings in Boise County for next week. Lori says public meetings are not required, but it is important the community is informed about what's going on. You can look at the plan on the Forest Service website and comment there until the 22nd. We will have a link to that in this story on our website right after this newscast. Steve. So those two meetings, are those still going forward that the company has planned, or is that that's in limbo too. No, those are still going forward as planned. The mining company is holding those next week. All right. Thank you, Tammy, yes. for all that.